Hi guys, um, yeah, it's me, it's Jenny. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these talking over the top videos of me drawing and I thought I would do it today just because, like I said, it's been a while and I wanna meet new people, I wanna talk to people and I've just got a nice little influx of subscribers which is bringing me ever closer to reaching that 1000. And uh, I guess I wanna introduce myself and I hope you enjoy, whilst I have a little chat, uh, the process of me drawing this Scarlet Macaw in Ohuhu markers um, and Arteza pencils. So, yeah, who am I? If you haven't met me before, if we haven't met before, my name is Jenny. Uh, I'm a professional artist and I have been working this life for about two years now, coming up to my second year this October, which is which is crazy. It's uh, It's been a wild ride being a professional artist. There are some highs, some lows, which I could definitely talk about. Perhaps in this video, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm just kind of rambling, <laughs> just to brain spew all over you. Um, but yeah, I guess quickly, if you're new here and you wanna say hi, I'd love that so much. So feel free to drop a comment. Uh, if you want to hit the subscribe button again that would be amazing i'd be so grateful if you joined us or joined me on this kind of creative journey of becoming a youtuber uh, i've been interested in doing youtube for a while but this is this year i've really focused on making it a priority and these videos i just yeah i love making them i love showing you my process and i love talking to you guys and i realize i haven't done that enough lately so yeah <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm rambling a little bit. I guess I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes. Basically August, September, October, November this year, it's going to be a really busy few months for me. And I'm really excited. I'm a bit intimidated, but I'm quite excited. So if you haven't heard already, I have a animal drawing book coming out in November, which is an absurd thing to say. I feel like I never anticipated being able to do something like this, but I was approached uh, probably over a year ago now to create a how to draw animals book. It's available for pre-order um, and the link is all in the description. Everything important is in the, in the description. But uh, if you are interested in learning how to draw animals, I do have that book available uh, for pre-order. That's going to take up so much of my time to kind of get the, get the, sort of publicity out there and I'll be honest I admit that I'm a little bit intimidated about the process and I don't like admitting it because you know I feel like I tell people all the time how to get over get over overwhelm and how to deal with stuff like getting burned out and stressed and you know as much as I like to tell people how to deal with it I feel like I don't listen to the fact that I'm also dealing with it so I am, I am feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but it's okay. It's okay because I'm doing things that I'm really happy about. I'm really happy with everything that's going on. Uh, I think the fact that the book promotion is going to be coming up soon, so I'll be doing a lot of sort of marketing for that, is quite scary. Um, I've got other things I'm working on, like for example, I'm showing you this process video of me drawing in alcohol markers and I'm actually making a little course uh, that will be available hopefully in the next few months. Um, and if you want to kind of get on that, then I've got a newsletter. So if you want, you know, it, I, again, I'm rambling, but I guess I'm confessing to the fact that it's been very busy and my head has been very kind of foggy with all these things that are going on. And I, I expect I'm not alone and I anticipate massively that people listening to this will, you know, maybe resonate. And if you do resonate, tell me about it. I want to hear how you cope with it. You know, how do you experience overwhelm? Because I think learning from each other is massive and having community is really important. I think YouTube is a really good space for that. It's a, it's a really, you know, it's free, it's available to most people around the world and you can connect with artists all over the place. And knowing that you're not alone and dealing with stuff like overwhelm and, you know, burnout, knowing that there are people out there who are dealing with it and experiencing it is, such a valuable resource and I've never really never really allowed myself to accept that I'm also going through it but you know it's okay and I'm okay and I'm doing fine and I'm you know getting on with everything 
But basically, one of the things that I've done, one of the things that is going on behind the scenes, if you haven't seen it already, I've created a membership club and I'm working with fellow artists all over the world to, you know, have that support system, have that network. Because as much as Instagram and YouTube are fantastic free resources, I find that, you know, for me specifically, I, I ignore free things really well. <laughs> if it's free, I, and I forget to do something, goodness me, how many times have I told myself, oh, don't worry, I didn't pay for it, so it doesn't matter. And I think, you know, I've got no problem at all with people who have, you know, like myself, I've been through situations where my budget has been super limited and I haven't been able to afford anything because, you know, I've got a budget and I need to stick to it to be able to keep my finances in check. But sometimes, and I'm realizing this now as I've kind of progressed, especially in the past few months where I've kind of stagnated and I've got stuck, that I really needed to invest in myself and I've really, you know, begun to see the value of paying for things and whether that's paying for resources, paying for a community, paying for access to stuff, you know, paying for paying for qualifications that I've got, such as my coaching qualification. You know, spending money is scary and I, I accept it and that's the thing that I've been dealing with a lot is money going out, not necessarily coming back in. And I I feel it and I I respect it and I you know it scares me to spend money. But what I have found is that my biggest leaps in progress, my biggest developments in skills, in personality, in abilities, have come from times where I have invested in something and I have gone, do you know what? I've put that money there. Let's put my money where my mouth is and let's get stuck in. Because, you know, the idea of like wasting money is is scary. So when I've when I've invested in myself, I've gone do you know what? I need to do this now. And I want to do this because I've invested in myself. And I found that, you know, spaces like communities, resources like that, when I've paid for them, I've been more kind of motivated to do them. And that's kind of what I've, you know, committed to helping other artists with. And by creating this, this community, it's called the Inspiration to Creation Collective. It's a wonderful space. There's a, you know, a bunch of artists in there already who, I've just never interacted with people or fellow artists in this way before. I've had Instagram for, for ages, I've had YouTube for ages, and I've never had a space where I could go to talk to people and go, do you know what? These people feel like me, these people look like me, they say the same things. You know, we don't always agree on everything and I think the world would be boring if we agreed on everything all the time. But the, the fact of the matter is, they're, they've got each other's back, they've got my back, I've got their back. And I love being able to provide that space for someone, you know, knowing that there are people, I'm, I'm in Germany and I've got friends through this community now, all the way over in Canada, I've got friends in the Netherlands, I've got friends in Greece and France and, uh, you know, the States. And it's amazing to see this collective of people who have come together in, you know, in that shared mindset of I want to better myself, I want to invest in myself, commit to growth and to also help each other. And I don't think there's anything more beautiful than that. And I know now that whenever I'm experiencing the overwhelm that I've been going through, all I need to do is jump on that server, jump on this discord where everyone's hanging out and say, look, I've got something I'm struggling with. Can you help me? And I can return that favor because, you know, oh, I, I feel I feel very blessed that I've been able to go through and get my coaching qualifications because, you know, I, I, I can help coach, you know, fellow artists th to feel more confident, to feel more motivated, to feel more empowered. And I can sort of get that return on investment for where I've invested in myself and now I can help other artists and that helps me it's this weird cycle and knowing that there are people out there who I can turn to when I need a bit of help myself so you know I've rambled a bit about you know my motivations behind this community and you know if you if you're thinking of joining if you're thinking do you know what I really need somewhere where I can feel more motivated I can feel more confident because I've invested in myself 
then I would be so touched, so honored if you considered joining us. Again, all the important links to you know, everything is in the description, you know, the Inspira Inspiration to Creation Collective, also known as the ITCC. You get stickers for joining, you get celebratory rewards every three months, you know, for, for sticking in and really committing to your growth. There's so much in there and I fully believe that everybody, every artist who, you know, wants to invest in themselves and wants to commit to growth, will find something wonderful about this community and will help it thrive by joining in. You know, if you if you know you've got skills that you want to share, bring them in. You know, I love the idea that there are so many brilliant and intelligent and skilled artists out there who have so much to give and so much to gain from being in a part of a community. You know, you're 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 forever invited and I'd be so grateful if you wanted to come and you know, get get some coaching, do some of our monthly paint and sips where we get together over Zoom, we just hang out. It, the world is your oyster and you have so much opportunity these days to be able to share your art and seek growth by hanging out with other people. So yeah, that's where this video went. <laughs> Talking a bit about my overwhelm. Um, and that's kind of, yeah, the way of the world is that I feel pretty stressed. But when I realized that I have this community that I've created, I've built on with my skills and made it a space for fellow artists, it's it's not about me. It's not about what I you know can offer, although I try my best to make it full of value. It's just now it's a space where there are brilliant people who can hang out and to help each other and be those guiding lights for each other and I couldn't be more excited to see where this membership grow, you know, goes in the future, where it grows to. Dozens, hundreds of artists even would be just amazing. I've, I've rambled a bit about, you know, what's going on with me, what's going on behind the scenes and I really hope that you feel like it's okay to be making the progress that you're going on and that if you're feeling overwhelmed we all feel it and you're allowed to feel those things and you know it will pass uh, there are resources available to help you and i would love to be a part of that journey helping you and showing you that it's okay you know we all we, we all experience it and we've all got you know our ways of dealing with it so I hope you've enjoyed this little process video. You've enjoyed my rambling. <laughs> if you are new here and you do want to, you know, catch up on these videos, you want to see more, please subscribe and let me know in the comments what kind of stuff that you'd like to see me do in the future. As always, guys, it's such a pleasure and I can't wait to see you again for the next video. Goodbye, guys.